discussing about Felix the Cat case. So this is trigger one. From the trigger one, we can sort out the facts. So Felix is a domestic short hair breed. He's two years old, overweight, and he has lost lose his appetite for past few weeks and have been vomiting for past few days. We can see yellow color of eyes, gums, and ears. And blood sample here are collected for biochem analysis. So what are the ideas of this case? So since the most prominent clinical signs will be icterus in the cat, so what type of jaundice do you think is? Actually, jaundice have three stages, right? Prehepatic, hepatic, and post-hepatic. I think if it is prehepatic, it's caused by excessive loss of red blood cell, uh, that means rapid red blood cell destructions. The liver function is okay, the liver is function is normal, but it's too too much of bilirubin, so very hard to release uh, by bilirubin system into intestine. So for this case, uh, normally it's caused by uh, blood parasite like mycoplasma, uh, hemophilus, but for this situation, I think prehepatic uh, jaundice might not be the cause because if prehepatic jaundice, the symptom won't be so significant. Because from a photo, we can we can see the whole ear, the whole gum already turned to yellow, so it might be uh, other other type of jaundice. Uh, compared to uh, prehepatic jaundice, uh, the hepatic jaundice is actually because of the impairment of liver function. So the, uh, this means the liver is not well functioning. So uh, this is may be cause of uh, toxicity or other uh, the viral infection, and then uh, these these causes can cause the uh, necrosis of the liver. So the hepatocytes uh, not enough to um, uh, processing the bilirubin. Mm. Uh, that's why uh, jaundice is. Happening. How about post test? For the post hepatic jaundice, it is usually caused by the impaired ability of the liver to excrete the bilirubin due to the obstruction of the flow of bilirubin and bowel through the major bowel duct. So the most common causes are the gallstone in the common bowel duct and the pancreatic cancer in the head of pancreas. It might be caused by the liver flux in the common bowel duct, which can also cause the obstructive jaundice in the animal. So there are some common signs of post-hepatic jaundice such as the poor or absent in appetite, lethargy, weight loss, vomiting, diarrhea, dehydration, unusual behavior, and the prolonged bleeding. So I think the common sign of the post-hepatic jaundice is quite similar with the Felix. So I suspect that Felix might have post-hepatic jaundice. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I can relate to how you uh, agree to the point where Felix will be having post hepatic jaundice, but I would like to explain more about hepatic jaundice, which my point would be about feline hepatic lipidosis because feline he this is an over conditioned cat, so when they tend to be anorexic, they develop this uh, fatty liver disease because when they are, when their liver is impaired, they cannot mobilize too much fat because they need the energy right so they cannot mobilize too much fat that's why that's why there's uh, too much unconjugated bilirubin in the blood so it causes uh, severe jaundice yeah and then also so in my opinion i think that it may also the jaundice may also caused by the viral infections so the cat may be infected with the mutated intestinal coronavirus that lead to the very infectious peritonitis so as we know, there are two forms, right? The wet form and dry form. Mm -hmm. So from the, for the dry form, uh, the granuloma will form in the, around the internal organ. Mm -hmm. So maybe the granuloma form will obstruct the bowel duct, then cause the source hepatic jaundice. Mm -hmm. It can also cause by cholangia hepatitis, where there will be inflammation of bowel duct. So it will cause liver impairment and cause hepatic jaundice. Um, adding to the um, hepatic jaundice, um, one of the causes is toxicity, right? So um, we the management of the cat is not mentioned in trigger one, so we don't know whether it's a free roaming cat or it's a household cat. So if it's a free roaming cat, then it might due to um, toxicity um, or poisoning that may causes impairment of the liver. Thus, um, it cannot conjugate bilirubin. Um, bilirubin and 
then it causes jaundice ya and uh, I want to add more I think uh, the cat have the possibility to uh, suffer the lymphoma because um, the lymphoma uh, clinical, clinical signs one is the uh, jaundice but because of the absence of the lymph node uh, swelling uh, in the cat so we can lose out the lymphoma as a differential diagnosis mm. okay, what are the other factors in the understand okay. so we proceed to learning issues what should we learn about this <coughs> so at first would be <coughs> I think you have to wait for the blood test so if it's like for hepatitis if it's the blood test, if they are increased in ALT, ALP, and also AST, and also in the bile acid, you can say that it's it's probably hepatic epidosis and also high serum globulin level, and also lymphopenia, neutrophilia, and also mild anemia. I think we should also know, because uh, hepatomegaly is a significant uh, sign if the cat is suffering from hepatic jaundice. So we, we, we need to know whether the cat is having uh, hepat hepatomegaly. Other than that, as I mentioned, um, we should know that uh, what's the type of management um, of the cat, whether it's a uh, um, free roaming or a household cat. We also have to know if there are any other finger signs shown by the cat. So if the abdominal distension and neurological sign is absent, then we can rule out the FIP. So we can also have to know <laughs> what, what is the hydration status of the cat. Mm -hmm. And as we discussed before, uh, we know that jaundice is caused by high level of bilirubin in the body. So we should know what are the factors that cause the uh, high bilirubin level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the most important, important part. Okay, so now we continue for our action plan. So uh, for the action plan, I think because we know that there's a lot, uh, there's three types of uh, jaundice. So uh, different uh, tests have been carried out to, to differentiate whether, to know whether the cat is having which type of jaundice. So for pre hepatic jaundice, it's very important to have hematocrit test to know the uh, reverse cell count. So if the hematocrit the level is low, like maybe less than 20, so we can suspect that the cat is having pre hepatic jaundice. Okay, for hepatic jaundice, we can do complete blood count, serum chemistry panel, urine analysis, blood clotting, and validation. Other than that, we can also do radiology for the cat, so we can see if there's hepatomegaly mm -hmm. because when there's high liver uh, demand so there will be enlargement of the liver. Other than radiology like X-ray, we can also do ultrasound to check whether there's enlargement of the liver. So actually the ultrasound can also use to detect the presence of classified ghost stool because the gall beta stool is also one of the causes of post hepatic jaundice. Mm. I think uh, urinalysis is necessary to be done because the urinalysis test can we can detect the present or absence of urobilinogen in the urine. So from the amount of the urobilinogen, we can detect the stage of jaundice. Anything else? Uh, I would like to add on something. So the other, other than that, we can do uh, abdominal parasitosis, which is also the aspiration. So mm -hmm. we can see if there's any acidic fluid and you, whether it will be clear to yellow tinge color. Okay. That would be the differential diagnosis for the hepatic hypothesis and also Okay. Okay. So, so, in a conclusion, uh, we should wait for the biochemistry analysis by VSLU to know which type of jaundice that the cat is having, which is prehepatic, hepatic, or post hepatic. So, that's all from our discussion today. Thank you.